Hi guys, this is part 4 in making a ninja platformer game in scratch. So if you haven't seen part 1, 2 and 3 yet, make sure to check it out. Link is on the description below. So far I showed you how to code your ninja so you can move, jump and also detect slopes. And also our ninja has a sword and a ninja star. Now a ninja could switch weapons. So okay, in this video I will be showing you how to code your enemies. So now let's code our enemies. So click on your player and duplicate it. And name it as enemies. Then go for costumes. Then let's upload our enemy costume. And then uh, let's delete our ninja costume. Okay, now first when I receive play, you need to remove this all except for this if not switch in progress. When I receive play, we need to go to our front layer and we need to hide. Then let's make a new block, clone it, X and Y. Then you find, you go to our X and Y and we need to create clone of myself. So, when I start as a clone, if not switch in progress, in forever, you need to set our gravity to negative 1, jump height to 10, speed to 0 0.5, and friction to 0 0.75, and slope to 2. Now let's make three new variables. Enemy X well for this sprite only. Enemy Y well for this sprite only. And enemy slope for this sprite only. Let's hide these variables. And now Define our block. We don't need to switch costume And we need to change Our enemy Y well by gravity and we need to change our Y by enemy Y well So change Y by ABS of enemy Y well divide by enemy Y well We need to set enemy Y well to and we don't need to change this and we need to set to enemy x well and this to enemy x well we change x well by enemy x well and we need to set enemy slope to zero so repeat until enemy slope and we need to change enemy slope when you change a Y by enemy slope then you need to change our X by to enemy X will divide by 
enemy as well. And then we don't need to. And then we don't need our enemy to move to our next level. And remove these two blocks too. And grab another if statement. So if our y position is lesser than negative 180, then we need to delete this clone. Then grab another if else statement. So okay, now we need our enemy to move by its own, not by our arrow keys. So to do that, we move this up key arrow pass. And if our Y position is lesser than Y position of player minus 25 then we need to set enemy Y well and set enemy X well to remove this left arrow key pressed and duplicate this and change this to X position and don't we we don't need the minus 25 and change this to X position and duplicate this and not key right arrow Place it here you need to swap these two it's okay and we need to set our enemy size to 20 because it's so huge Okay, now grab another. So when I receive next, if grab if else statement. So if our level equals two wait until I set my level to 2 then we need to go like here so for that we need to clone at and our X position which is 37 and our Y negative 80. So okay else let's duplicate this and if level equals 5 we need to clone at X 150 and Y 80 and duplicate this and if level equals 8 we need to clone at 100 and negative 80 so I'll add another clone there 200 and negative 80 and uh, when I start as a clone forever next costume so okay now let's test our enemy so 
So now you can see how the enemy is moving by itself. So here if Y position is lesser than negative 180, grab a if else statement and duplicate this. And place it here we need to point in direction 90 else we need to point in direction negative 90 so now let's test our project so now you can see our enemy is turning left and right so okay our enemy works So now I will show you how to kill your enemies. So grab a when I start as a clone block. Grab a forever. Then grab a if. And an O block. So if touching. Of a sword or ninja star, then we need to set. So let's make two new variables known as enemy X, for all sprites, and enemy Y for all sprites. We need to set enemy X and enemy Y to our X position and to our Y position. And we need to broadcast enemy killed. And then we need to delete this clock. So okay, now let's see whether it works. So now you can see if our enemy touches our sword, it dies. So now let's test our ninja star. You can see our enemy dies when it hits the ninja star. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe and share. And see you in part 5 in making a ninja platformer game in scratch.